and we are recording now. Hello! Hello! You have found us in the middle of uh, uh, working through another uh, another uh, forum leakage bit <laughs> and we're having fun so we decided <laughs> yeah. to uh, share all this. Right now we we're kind of sort of getting some inter not intercontinental inter character banter going on <laughs> and we've almost got it we only got some action beats uh tagged as such and then we have this action of non argumentativeness <laughs> <laughs> totally a word totally a word mm -hmm. however uh, before we got to this point, we worked through some previous posts. Maybe, maybe let's uh, read a little bit. Yeah, can do. From the beginning or from here, maybe. Uh, I can do from Corey had climbed atop the wreckage. Yeah. So what has happened on uh, before this point? Oh. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Why are we here? <laughs> All right, I'll start from the beginning. You've twisted my arm. Uh, and to get out to this point, we've taken. If you if you check out the leak stories on the website, uh -huh. uh, this point has been led up to from the Deja Vu storyline. So where Corey has ended up back on Tucker Nine, uh, he's found Nux, he's found Mariah. They've taken the ship. They've crashed the ship on our chaos. And now they're sort of hanging around the ship, doing bits and pieces. Mm -hmm. So basically, this adventure, which ran on our forums for a while, the adventure starts here. I'm showing the uh, website on screen. Starts here. Then continues with the. Blah blah. Oh, these leaks don't work. What the fuck? Which ones? On the website? Uh, in the WordPress. In uh, reading sample 6, or like Deja Vu part 6, the intro links are no longer working. The shortened links. I will fix that when we are not recording. <laughs> yes. Uh, in the previous ones, the links work, so it's all mm. good. It's it's a one-off er error. But yes, yeah, so we started from the very same place where another reading sample takes place, namely... Namely... Taking flight. So, the adventure that we are working on now, or the adventure that we are cleaning up for reader consumption right now, is kind of a remix of another setting and story and the characters. That was one of the one of the adventures that kicked off the whole Chaos Nova universe. And right now, it's like it's coming. The Euroboros has uh, has reached the, the hind legs, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and we are doing this adventure now. So there has been shipwrecks. There has been uh, well, water crashing. New people, take it away. Welcome back, Mariah called out. Nux was with her. His arm wrapped around her shoulder as she limped them both forward. Corey jogged over to help. How's he doing? He seems to be recovering. Mariah glanced over his shoulder towards Smith. Who's your new friend? You guys get to know each other. I'm going to check the ship. Their vessel was in a sorry state. Still upside down, but rolled onto its right side. A pool of water and oil mix had congealed around the base. He propped Nux up against the large metal container and peeked through the cargo bay entrance. Quite the mess, Nux muttered, stretching out his natural arm. Just a second. I am looking at the words peeked through the cargo bay entrance. 
if it's already open, then... Yeah, it shouldn't be, should it? Yeah, so... Uh, it should be something like he... he peeked through some rubble, maybe? No, he, he doesn't... He doesn't even need to... We, we don't even need to mention the cargo bay right here. So, cut this? Yeah. Yeah. He prop he prop knocks up against a large metal container. Quite the mess, Knox muttered, stretching out his natural arm. You're telling me, Cora replied absentmindedly. How you holding up? My bionics are pretty damaged. My eye is stuck on infrared. Need to keep it shut and rely on my normal eye eyesight. And my arm he frowned at the mess of wires and goop. He pulled himself up the side of the container. Corey rushed to his aid, but was shunned away. I've got this. <laughs> oh. yeah, let's pull this together here. Yeah. Well, that may be. We should be helping one another. You've got nothing to prove to me. I know that. I'm not proving anything to you. I'm proving it to myself. Bah, fine. Corey <laughs> muttered and turned his attention back to the ship. Behind him, Nux managed to work himself upright. He reached for a release mechanism and dropped his useless bionic arm to the ground. Corey jumped. Gah! It freaks me out when you do that. A little warning next time? <laughs> Nux ignored him and started tinkering with the bionics. Corey had climbed atop the wreckage until he'd found a suitable hatch above the waterline. He worked his way in and to the almost dry cargo bay. Ah, hang on, let me try that again. Uh -huh. Corey had climbed atop the wreckage until he'd found a suitable hatch above the waterline. He worked his way in into the almost dry cargo bay, powered up his blaster, and, with a shit-eating grin, aimed at the exit. The doors flew off with a mighty splash. What the hell, man? Just a Not second. Oh. Flew off and landed with a mighty splash. Uh -huh. What the hell, man? Nux spat out some mud. I'll relax, would ya? Corey skipped back to the shore. I got the door open. You could have killed me! <laughs> With a cargo bay door? You've been enough of a challenge for serving ice and the skilf. Ugh, don't remind me. That's... Corey fell silent, rubbing his chin. What is it now? I just thought of something. Who's our enemy here? What do you mean? Well, we arrived back on T9, but why? Who are we fighting? And more importantly, who sent us? That should be easy enough to figure out. When you were on Tucker 9 originally, who were you fighting then? Servanias. Although back then, we didn't know it yet. So what's changed? Corey stomped the mud. The skilf. <laughs> Nux reattached his arm, or Nux did something with his arm. Insert action, action here. Action here. <laughs> <laughs> if the time frame holds, then it's going to be a while until the skill show up again. Then my money is still on Servo. He could be up to something. That's why he's pulling us back in time. But we killed him and wiped out his entire network. Exactly! <laughs> Corey back and forth, stabbing the air with his index finger. What if this reality is his failsafe? A way to bring himself back? But if Servo, <laughs> yeah. But if Servo could really manipulate time, why doesn't he just? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows what reasons he has? Then again, things are different here. Too different. What if this is all a simulation scenario? What if we're trapped in some sort of purgatory? Are you even real? <laughs> he ignored the elder's snort. For all we know, we could be hooked up to an educator right now. What's so different then? You're pretty much on the same course. Grab grab the ship on T9, crash it on our chaos. All you need to do now is find the Alexis, hire boats, take the job from Zhao. We're back we're right back where we started. You weren't even there! <laughs> the trouble was. Where is he now? And what's up with the new faces? I'm telling you, something weirder is going on here. <laughs> Act of non argumentative is. Uh, <laughs> There was something I wanted to add here. What's so different then? You're pretty much on the same course. Grab the ship on T9, crash it on our chaos. All you need to do now is find and repair the Alexis, hire boats, take the job from Zhao, and we're back where we started. You weren't even there, and trouble was. 
So where is he now? Uh, and what's up with the new faces? I'm telling you, something weirder is going on here. Okay, action of non argumentativeness. <laughs> so what do you want to do then? Go get the Alexis. But you just said we don't really know what's going on. Don't care. We crashed here so we could find the Alexis. I'm going to find the Alexis. Oh, no. Not on your own, you're not. Corey frowned. I was planning on taking one of the new people. Leave the other for guard duty. Oh, I want to come along. Well, do you? Yeah, so I think we can pull it up there. Yeah. So oh, right. this text here is uh, quite far from the original mm. uh, forum text. We have we have altered it quite a bit. <laughs> I, I can't even say that we have cleaned it out. We have actually uh, we have divinated the goals based on the original forum text and based on those what we're trying to say here. We we have actually come up with a new text. And again, this is a little bit a uh, little bit cheating uh, in regard to forum leaks, but uh, since all of this uh, is kind of relevant in the greater story arc, we felt that we need we would better invest in making some clarity here. And also because these are our own posts, we do what the hell we want. <laughs> I do what I want. <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, now that you were reading it, uh, I kind of get the feeling that we might maybe cut some more of the banter. Okay. It, it does get a little bit draggy at some point, although I don't know where exactly. I think the best thing to do is just plow on for the time being and then read it mm -hmm. all once yeah. it's together and yeah. see what we can drop. This end part's working out quite well. This is pretty much everything we need them to say. Mm -hmm. uh, just needs a bit of polishing. Yeah. So in the original forum post, there was a lot of back and forth between the two guys. A lot was being said, mm -hmm. but but uh, it's like it didn't it didn't seem to lead it anywhere. It wasn't particularly useful, and it didn't push the story in any particular mm -hmm. direction it was just these two yeah. dudes having a chat I think what you were trying to do then was to have several callbacks to other storylines or other adventures and name drop the things that are like super important pay attention there will be a test later <laughs> <laughs> I think that might have been a bit of it yeah yeah. It's like, oh, it, there's a new person here. Let's flood the information and catch her up with all the stuff that's happened. It doesn't work like that. Mm -hmm. That's a bad way of doing it. <laughs> so any forum owners out there, uh, just chat to people. And if they've got questions, they'll ask you. <gasps> Magic, <gasps> right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, right now in this... Uh, uh, for this reading sample uh, stake, I have already shaved off uh, a scene between my character and Nox's other character who are getting to know each other uh, and spending time elsewhere. So it, nothing is spared. There is no bias yeah. towards any anybody's post in particular. Yeah. If it doesn't make the cut, then the editor will make the cut. <laughs> yes. And I think, speaking of cuts, <laughs> Behold! <laughs> uh, and I think we need the asterisks here because this scene takes us elsewhere and we shall carry on from my character's perspective. Yay! <laughs> I think I can, I can read this because I already yep. made the cuts yesterday. As they were, as they were approaching the fence, Smith took, the took in the glorious sight of towering scraps ahead. Often times she'd feel overwhelmed, yet all the blessed at the sight of industrial leftovers, especially in such large quantities. To, s to shake off the excess sentiment, she turned her attention to the path ahead. The ground was now littered with small components and debris bits. She instinctively pick picked up a few nuts and bolts, carefully placing them in chest pockets then paused and gave an apologetic smile. Sorry, old habits. They were almost at the gates now. 
she noticed a small heap of takeoff obsidian discarded by the fence. This was too much. Ooh, shiny! She exclaimed. Let's skip towards it. Skip towards it. I'll be right back. A ship roaring overhead brought her back to reality. She hastily stuffed a handful of black tears into a belt pouch and hurried towards the gates. The sight made her drop into a grouch. Uh, the sight ahead made her drop into a grouch and back off. She peeked in through the metal sheets and rubble piles, a thousand emergency scenarios and rescue plans rushing through, the, through her brain. She barely knew these people. But she felt all the responsible for their well-being all of a sudden. And this makes no sense. So the side ahead, we don't specify what's happening here. Uh, so I should either add that she sees a standoff. Or something something. I I don't want to cut it uh, all. I don't want to cut all of it, but <laughs> <laughs> I was happy. Then I then dropped into a grouch. <laughs> you got to watch out for them grouches, man. Yeah. Mhm. Mm so basically, yeah. the point here that uh, the site of her newly found crew at a gunpoint made her drop into a crouch and back off slowly back off that double space almost thought he was getting away with it <laughs> no, not <laughs> that much <laughs> yeah, nice. Yeah, it is like it is. It is not like uh, release quality or anything, but at least uh, now we now we have a, an inkling of what's going on. Mhm. Mm and what follows is our GM's post, and this time we need to make the we need to turn the GM notes into reading text. Because right now he has written these notes in uh, present tense, so it's basically like you see this and such and such is happening to you. But basically what's happening is that one of, uh, one of his characters is, uh, is uh, shooting our heroes with paintball, <laughs> like showing who's the boss there in a way mm. and picking them up for a briefing it felt so much like it, it was it was so so much more dramatic when uh, when the story was running like, <laughs> what <laughs> he just shoots you your characters <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> And then, this, uh, and then you learn to uh, well, and then you get to know Kyoji. It's like, oh yeah, normal day at the office room. <laughs> <laughs> of course, uh, with this text, we we need uh, uh, we need some co quiet contemplation and uh, and careful balancing balancing act and wordsmithery. So, mm -hmm. shall I think I will I will can this uh, recording. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much for watching. Yes, come check out our reading samples and especially check out the forum leakage project. Yep. And also by Seeker. <laughs> Do all of these things. Yes. Thank you. Do it now. <laughs> Thanks again. Bye. Bye.